Hi there and welcome. I'm on Riffbot AI. This is Nellie Deutsch and today I'm going to demonstrate how you can use your voice, not just text, but voice to text in this reflection. So first I'm going to go into, notice here, the mic. And you need to enable it, of course. And notice it's already okay, generating my voice. But I don't want to send this. I want to send something else. So let me read what I want to send. Going to add it. And then I'm going to send it. And then I'll repeat the same thing using notice. You can end at any time, but I'm not going to end here. So let me speak this with my mic. One of the most surprising aspects of AI in language teaching has been its ability to personalize learning on a granular level. The ability of AI tools responding to each student's unique pace, learning style, and language challenges, as well as interests, has shown a potential for individualized teaching that wasn't as feasible in traditional classroom settings or with the internet, for that matter. This personalization, combined with real-time feedback on language use and even tone or context, has not only surprised me, but has also challenged me to rethink traditional methods that often generalize rather than individualize instruction. And there I sent it, and it'll take a little bit of time, but I can play this to make sure it's what I want. I can also download You've highlighted it. AI's capacity for personalization in language learning. Could you share a specific challenge or limitation you've encountered when trying to implement this kind of personalized learning with AI tools in your teaching practice. So now I get audio. So I can listen and reply that way. Now this is great for language learners and others, of course, but since I'm an English language teacher for language learners, but you need to make it really, really simple for this to be effective and a conversation by voice. Let me know if you have any questions about Riffbot AI. Thank you.